Uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. And in today's video, we're looking at this three in one pass through adjustable wrench set from Crescent. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon for the sum of £23.36p. Uh, as we know, Amazon prices do vary dramatically at times, so I'll stick up what the actual current price is at the time of this video going up. Part number on it is CPTAW8. And as you can see, it's an adjustable spanner at this end here. We have a ratchet mechanism down in the end of it here, a set of sockets along the top, all housed within this plastic holder here. Uh, the sockets themselves are kind of held in on a clip, uh, but it's not a very good one. Uh, it's actually broken off of the top of this one here. Uh, so don't hold out much hope for the life of the holder at the moment. Uh, the wrench is held in with these two plastic clips, so it just comes straight out. And you can see it in my hands here, equivalent to an 8-inch wrench. Uh, got the Crescent logo on the back here. Uh, the ratchet mechanism itself is a fairly tight mechanism. There's a little bit of play in it, I guess. But it's got a nice uh, clip to it, nice feel to it. Um, from what I can make out, it's around about 74 teeth for the actual ratchet mechanism itself. Um, at this end, you, um, I say here, you obviously have the lever here to change direction for the ratchet. So you can go back that way. So it has that functionality. At this end, we have the adjustable spanner. Um, we do have uh, a scale on the side of this. It's metric one side and it's Imperial or Yoldi English, SE, whatever you want to call it, on this side. It's laser etched in. I honestly don't know whether you can see it or not, or whether I'll be able to capture it on camera. Uh, it's getting the light right. Uh, it's pretty ineffective, to be honest with you. Um, I can just see it there, but it's very, very hard to read. I can see the lettering, but you can't see the graduation, so not much use at all, really. Uh, obviously, the adjustable spanner here, in and out, no problems. Uh, to get to the pipe wrench mechanism, you have to take the little uh, head out completely, flip it around, and then put it back in. And then you have a pipe wrench there, based upon the teeth here. If you put a piece of pipe in, uh, we can uh, easily grip it. But it does mark up quite considerably, uh, as you can see. So it's gripped there. So a fair bit of power to it. I know we're only dealing with plastic coated steel pipe or something like that. You'd have the same there. You can see the marks that it's made. It'll do the same to uh, metal pipe as well, I would imagine. Um, so it has that functionality, um, but is pretty aggressive. Uh, dual capacity on this is up to one eighth of an inch slash 29 millimeters. Um, so fairly sizable in that respect. So that's the adjustable spanner head, uh, fairly standard for this kind of thing really. I have seen this approach before for a uh, pipe wrench built into them uh, on some of the other manufacturers, uh, but it's the first time I've seen one with a socket mechanism or a socket ratchet mechanism in the end of it. Um, so fairly unique in that respect. Uh, I did just wonder just how uh, usable it would be. And there's only one way of finding that out, isn't there? Uh, as I said, it's uh, 74 teeth in there. It is a pass-through style socket, so you can uh, push the mechanism in there and then your bolt head, or if you're dealing with studded bar, I find this kind of system very useful for when you're working on cable ladders, assembling cable ladders, unistrut, uh, tray works so that the studding can go straight the way through and you can tighten up with that. Um, so that is all very nice. Um, the sockets are sized um, both in SAE and millimeter. They have this dual functionality to them. Start at 10 mil at this end, go up to 19 mil at the other end in one millimeter steps. So there's no missed sizes in there. Um, you can see hopefully that the sizing is laser etched on the surface of each of the sockets. 
not sure how long that will last. Um, the actual socket design is a multi-use design, so these kind of sockets here, they will work on obviously your standard hex, they will work on square drive bolts, they will work on 12 point um, external torques, spline, and to some extent they will also work on rounded hex bolts as well, but in that manner they also do put a fair bit of pressure on the corners of hex bolts so they can as well as work on some rounded ones they may well actually round them off to some extent themselves. The actual drive on the socket itself that goes into these that is the same as a gear wrench and also in the UK a Halfords Vortex drive wrench. Um, I have both of these here. This is my Draper uh, Vortex which is the same as gear wrench. And you can see the mechanism here is exactly the same. So this one goes in here, no problems. Um, and it will also fit into our spanner as well from Crescent. So if you did want an extension piece, you could go for Draper because I believe these guys don't actually do an extension piece for it. And obviously you are limited to those sockets themselves. Um, and in actual fact, if we do a swap over, uh, that will actually also fit in. So totally cost compatible. You also do have a very similar system from Halfords in the UK. Uh, for those not in the know, Halfords is a UK motor factor store. It's, I guess a bit similar to Canadian Tire if you wanted a, a worldwide comparison. Um, and you can see there, Halfords Advanced Wrench has the same kind of mechanism as the Draper Expert here, and consequently as the uh, Crescent unit there. My version is the next size up, this is I guess equivalent to a half inch drive, this is more of a 3 8 inch drive, um, but you can see the actual mechanism for retaining the sockets is exactly the same between all these units. So I would imagine if you had a 3 8 drive from Halfords in their uh, Vortex slash gear wrench uh, drive system, it would also be compatible with the Crescent wrench here and you could use them with it as well. So in actual terms of use of the mechanism, what I have kind of found when you're using this to undo, undo up nuts and bolts, it depends very much. If you hold the wrench down here, it's fine, um, but obviously you lose a fair bit of leverage that way. If you hold it more towards the end here, which I guess naturally you'd want to do, um, you do tend to find that the actual corner of the adjustable wrench here does dig into your hand quite a bit and can be quite uncomfortable. Um, I guess as you start to find the bolt is tighter, you tend to grip harder, don't you, to try and uh, undo it. You can move your hand around a little bit, it's a little bit more comfortable there, I guess. Um, but whether you trap your flesh easily within there, you'd probably want some gloves on, I guess, to use it that way. Uh, or alternatively, you can flip it over, and then your fingers kind of sit in the jaw there, and you, the sharp corner edge can sit between the two fingers. Uh, and then it's a bit more usable that way. Uh, and you can put the socket that way, and then you can use it. The only difference is, of course, is that your lever to change direction is uh, the, then on underneath as opposed to on the top for easier access. Um, but that's the only thing I've really found to be wrong with it at this moment in time. But as an adjustable spanner, it's fine. There's no problems using it like that. So there you go. That's a quick little video on the Crescent three-in-one pass-through adjustable wrench set. Jury's out on how well it'll actually perform. I'll have to put it to use and see uh, what happens over an extended period of time. Uh, but it just intrigued me, so I thought I'd take a look at it. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.